Hello guys, and today I wanted to talk about CJ McCollum. As you guys can see, CJ McCollum is right now being targeted by the New Orleans Pelicans. And yes, it's been rumored for a while, and I've talked about it before, but supposedly they really like the idea of putting CJ McCollum next to, you know, Brandon Ingram. And I want to hear that. So before we start today's video, sorry, my voice just went in and out for a second. What do you guys think? Our girlfriend called me because we're about to get food and you know got to respond so she we're getting einstein bros by the way in the midwest there's barely any bagel shops i want to hear right now down the, i'm from the east coast and i'm jewish so i'm like used to having a bagel shop on every corner either way i want to hear your thoughts down below about trade proposals you would like to see for cj mccollum and let's get right into it so the new new orleans pelicans are currently ranked 11th in the western conference and they hope to acquire cj mccollum and brian windhorse reported on the just in Damn, my boys. And the Pelicans are looking to trade for a big name guard. And, they, and that includes CJ McCollum and possibly, you know, De'Aaron Fox and Eric Gordon, which I previously mentioned. And when you look at that, CJ McCollum has been linked to the Pelicans by other reporters in recent weeks. And it's because of the emergence of Anthony Simons this season that has increased the likelihood of a CJ McCollum deal. He's averaging about almost 21 points, a little bit over, almost a little bit under five assists a game, a little bit over four rebounds a game while shooting 40% from three. And, you know, 44% from the field and he missed 18 games because of collapsed lung. So what would you guys give up? I think I know Jonas Valanciunas can't be traded. So I think a deal would have to probably be around Josh Hart, you know, maybe Jackson Hayes. And I like Jackson Hayes, but it seems like a lot of people, when I see deals being thrown out there, Jackson Hayes is always being included. So it seems like people are willing to move on from Jackson Hayes. Would you throw Devontae Graham in there? I don't know. I do not know. I go to KU, so I like Devontae Graham, but my problem with Devontae Graham is he's very inefficient, super inefficient. And Jose, Alvar Jose Alvarado kind of like I'm playing really good. So I think it puts him in a weird position. Like, do you keep him? Do you not keep him? Oh, it's the best situation right there. So I think a deal may be including Devontae Graham, potentially. Or focusing on a deal more Jackson Hayes, Josh Hart, maybe you throw him Garrett Temple in there and Tomas Stanorowski and you take on somebody else from that deal. I assume you'd have to take somebody else on, on from that deal. But I think that deal could really help the Pelicans in a, a lot of ways. I think this actually could be a, a great deal for them. So that's my thoughts. I want to hear your guys' thoughts. If you guys were the New Orleans Pelicans, what would you guys do? Honestly, like. I think it's definitely something interesting. I, I always find it interesting to hear like what people would do trade wise. Like yesterday in the videos, so many people responded. I was actually like so surprised how many people respond. So thank you for that if you're one of the people who responded. But I think we're gonna wrap this up right here, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. A little short one today. Um, my girlfriend hates when I make videos, so I gotta pump these out quick so she doesn't get upset. But that's basically it, guys. I hope you guys have a great day because I know I will. Until next time, guys. Peace. Oh.